Welcome to Parent University. I'm Sue Han. On this edition, we are going to learn about all the wonderful resources available through Baltimore County Public Library. We are also going to hear about two amazing volunteers. So, let's get started. The staff at our local libraries have been working hard to service our community. Let's listen and learn about what resources are available. Baltimore County Public Libraries are often curbside pickup at all of our branches. Monday through Thursday from 10 to 6, you can pick up your items and on Friday and Saturday from 10 to 3, you can place your items on hold or you can call any of the branches to have your items placed on hold and then when you arrive at the branch, call us and we'll bring your items out to your car. Some of the services that we offer here at the library are remote printing. You can go online on our website, bcpl.info, and send us any prints that you need to have printed out. Each person can print 20 pages a day for free and you would just pick it up during our curbside hours. Some resources that support student learning are our um, BCPS student account. That is offered not even during the pandemic, it's all offered all the time. So any student that goes to Baltimore County Public Schools would just use their student ID number as their library ac account number and the password 000 and that is how you would log in. So if you don't know your student account number, you can go on Schoology and you can find it there. But if you, if you don't even know how to do that, that's fine. You can call the branch and we'll be able to give you your student account number. Some homework help that BCPL offers is our database called BrainFuse. You would just need a library card to, to log in. You can use your BCPS student account number to log in as well. You can get one-on-one -on -one tutoring from two to midnight every single day. And you can also submit any papers that you would need help um, submitting to your classes. The, per the person would look it over and be able to um, give you suggestions on how to improve it. An additional service that we have here at BCPL is chat online with a librarian. You can either email or call, and you can also do a video chat with a librarian and they can help you figure out any of the materials that you'd like to check out. If you're looking for a particular book, they can help you with that. Or if you actually need help like writing a paper and getting references, they can help you with that as well. We also offer a library of things. So you could check out a Chromebook, you can check out hotspots, fishing poles, um, telescopes, science kits, all of these things will help in your learning from home. Even though the library doors are not open, our resources are open 24-7. So please remember to use Baltimore County Public Library. Be sure to take advantage of all those wonderful services available through our libraries. Don't forget they also have craft kits available that you can pick up on certain Saturdays of the month. We are now about to meet two wonderful volunteers that are working hard for Debbie Phelps at the Education Foundation. These volunteers are doing amazing work to support our teachers and students. The Education Foundation relies on our volunteers greatly. And when you take a look at our volunteer program, it's, it's kind of twofold. Number one, we have corporate volunteers. These are businesses that come to the exchange re or support us through their volunteerism on service days and be able to build team, be able to build collegiality, but also to be able to find out about who we are. Our volunteers are important because we also have, as well as corporate volunteers, individuals, Girl Scout troops, neighbors, friends, relatives, and even people in the school system who come to volunteer. We need them. They are the heart of our organization and they are our ambassadors. Some of the initiatives that are going on at the Exchange Re, first of all, are led by our volunteer coordinators. We have Bill and Susan, who's with us here at Windsor Mill, and Linda, who is with us over at White Marsh, and they make sure that we keep everything going very smoothly. Bill and Susan are our individual volunteers of the year for 2020, and we're so excited about them. But when you take a look at what they have to do and what's happening at the Exchange Re, we have a lot of shipments coming in of, of school supplies that have been donated by our corporate business partners. 
we have to sort them, we have to process them, we have to log them in, we have to get them onto shelves, and we have to make sure that everything is in order for our teachers to come and shop, as well as our principals. Some of our initiatives included the exchange ring, not only our tools for school campaign, which is our basic school supplies and resources, but also share the warmth, winter accessories, as well as health and wellness resources for our classrooms. And we will be going back to school sometime, so those things are definitely needed. We also have books for bins because literacy is very important as we have a continuity of learning and literacy across our district. So we want to make sure that we are covering the entire child here at the exchangery and we are getting them educationally ready for schools, whether it be online or whether it be at home. What we get out of volunteering is a sense of purpose during the day since we're both retired. It's awesome to see the teachers coming in here and getting all the supplies for free that are donated by the community. So Susan was looking for something to do um, that didn't involve the house, housework. So she started uh, getting involved with some of the teacher activities uh, and ensuing so being down in Baltimore City at the time, um, she was transporting supplies and asking Debbie, um, who she made in contact with at that time, uh, whether they could use supplies that were available. And Debbie jumped Debbie right never in, says no. <laughs> jumped right in and there she was and that relationship uh, developed into Susan primarily becoming a principal volunteer. So some of the things that we do here at the Exchangery involve, um, for my part, um, basically staging things, helping uh, put up banners, help uh, donated repurposed items that are delivered to us, and then trying to make them into usable functioning um, shelving stands, um, boards, um, we hang banners um, so that the place looks presentable, it identifies the purpose of the organization and what we're trying to achieve. Uh, we're trying to make it easier and more convenient for the teachers, thereby affording the services and the help to the children, which is the real purpose. My message to the teachers would be, please come in on Thursdays to Windsor Mill. We have so many supplies, resources that you can use for free, and I will keep it organized for you so you can get in and get out. When you take a look at the state of our country right now during this pandemic, people may feel that they can't volunteer right now, but you still can because we do follow CDC health guidelines. We are doing a lot of initiatives that we need to have volunteers come in. We make sure though we are in a large area, we make sure we socially distance, and we make sure we have hand sanitizers around for our volunteers to come in. If you don't want to come now, that's okay. But once this has lifted, we want to give a call out to all of our volunteers across the Baltimore County region to be able to come and help us. You can also be involved right now by joining and supporting your local PTA. Please also remember to check the Parent University webpage. This is the new hub for system updates. Well, that does it for this edition of Parent University. Please look for us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram by searching at BCPS Parent U. Remember, family engagement happens anytime, anywhere. Music